learning outcomes after studying this module you will be able to know about the significance of poisoning the various classes of poisonings and the forensic importance of various types of poisonings let's study the introduction about it as we know the toxicology dates back to the earliest humans who used animal venoms and plant extracts for hunting warfare and assassination the knowledge of poisons must have pre-existed recorded history it is safe to assume that prehistoric humans categorized some plants as harmful and others as safe a poison is a substance solid liquid or gaseous which when introduced into the living body or brought into the contact with any part thereof produces ill health or even death due to its compositional effects or local effects or both poisoning occurs when any substance interferes with normal body functions after it is swallowed inhaled injected or absorbed fortnightly poisoning can be referred to as a development of unusual symptoms appearing in a living organism after its contact with a potentially toxic substance such substances can enter the body by several routes like through mouth including medicines household products etc through nasal passage by carbon monoxide or pesticide etc through eyes by household products and industrial chemicals etc through the skin caustics and pesticides etc and many times also parenteral like for example bites stings injected drugs etc summarily it can be said that poisoning is a condition when a toxic substance is administered to a living body and that body in response shows symptomatic changes which can be apparently abnormal these days the use of the chemicals for domestic and industrial purposes accounts for an increase in number of accidental poisonings the use of quack remedies for a quick relief and the injudicious use of ayurvedic and homemade medicines also results in accidental poisoning very often poisoning is the fourth most common cause of accidents in children the pattern of misuse of substances is changing these days with increase in the number of intake of pesticides and insecticides that is easily available in india most common agents for poisoning are the pesticides such as organophosphates carbamates and pyrethroids etc besides the pesticides sedatives corrosives and alcohols are also commonly used in north india aluminum phosphide is the most commonly used to commit suicide as it does not have any antidote and is highly fatal let's study about the forensic issues modern toxicology can be regarded as a furtherance of the development of biological and physical science in the late 19th and 20th centuries during the second half of the 19th century the world beheld an explosion in science that produced the establishment of the modern era of medicine synthetic chemistry physics and biology toxicology has drawn its strength and diversity from its proclivity to borrowing with the introduction of anesthetics and disinfectants and the development of experimental pharmacology in the late 1850 toxicology as it is currently understood got it started the introduction of ether chloroform and carbonic acid led to several electrogenic deaths these unfortunate outcomes encouraged research look into the causes of the deaths and early experiments on the physiological mechanisms by which these compounds caused both beneficial as well as adverse effect by the late 19th century the use of organic chemicals was becoming more extensive and 
benzene, toluene and xylenes as well as the chlorinated solvents related to chloroform went into large scale commercial production. During this period, the use of patent medicines consisting primarily of medicinal herbs, non-sugar sweeteners and alcohol were prevalent and there were several incidents of poisoning from these medicaments. The discovery of arsenic for the treatment of syphilis resulted in acute and chronic toxicity. Today arsenic remains a major toxicant in many developing nations and a potent choice for homicidal poisoning. Methanol used as a cheap ethanol substitute blinds and kills many native people. DDT and the phenoxy herbicides were developed for increased food production but today they themselves are a potential danger to the human civilization. Pharmacological disasters such as the use of thalidomide as a sedative during the pregnancy in the 1960s led to the development of tetralogy and a greater understanding of potential in utero poisons. Arsenic remained as a favorite for homicides in early part of the century. Cyanide too was popular around the middle of the century. In ancient India, women to get rid of their cruel husbands used aconite, arsenic and opium. In India, poisonous substances are used to commit suicide or homicides. It can also be accidental more commonly in the children who may ingest the poison instead of the sweets. However, suicidal and homicidal poisoning is quite common in this country compared to the West. Let's study the classification of poisoning. Fulminating. Fulminating poisoning is produced by an enormous dose. In fulminating poisoning, death occurs rapidly sometimes without preceding the symptoms and the patient appearing to collapse suddenly. Chronic. Chronic exposure is a relative time period for which continuous or repeated exposure beyond the acute phase is required for the same chemical to induce a toxic response. Chronic poisoning is caused by smaller doses over a period of time resulting in gradual deteriorating. Small amounts of poison are repeatedly administrated for a long period produces the toxic effects. The substances commonly causing chronic poisoning are metallic poisons, opium, antimony, arsenic, phosphorus etc. Chronic toxicity is characterized by continued exposure and sublethal effects stimulated through mechanism that are distinctive from that those cause acute toxicity. Subacute. Subacute poisoning shows features of both acute as well as chronic poisoning. Subacute exposure generally refers to continuous or repeated exposure to a chemical for more than 72 hours but usually less than one month. A subacute exposure may include repeated exposure for a period longer than three months. Thus, the terms are flexible adaptation to define the inception of chemical intoxication. The acute poisoning. The acute poisoning is caused by an excessive single dose or several dose of a poison taken over a short interval of time. In acute poisoning, whatever amount of poison is taken and the toxicity is manifested immediately. Acute toxicity of a chemical can be viewed from two perspectives. Acute toxicity may be the descriptor used as a qualitative indicator of incident of poisoning. Now let's study the types of poisoning. First is the homicidal poisoning. Homicidal poisoning is the administration of poisonous substance by a person to kill another. From the early ages 
poisons are the favorite weapon for assassination more often known as secret killers they can be surreptitiously slipped into the edible items of the victim and the rest of the poison ensures it the essential quality of a homicidal poison is that it should be cheap and easily available odorless highly toxic no residual product left signs and symptoms resemble natural diseases no antidote available shows no post mortem changes capable of being administered with food or drink they must act rapidly even in small quantity should not impart any color or taste when added in a covering agent preferably food item and most important that poison should not be traced in the viscera one of the most demanding poisons of such nature is arsenic in 20th century a lady named tofna who marketed specially prepared arsenic containing cosmetics accompanying the product were appropriate instructions for its use tofna was succeeded by an imitator with organization mastermind hiranoa sapra who provided a new impetus by directing her activities toward specific marital and monetary objectives a local club was formed of young wealthy married women which soon became a club of eligible young wealthy widows evocative of full figured conspiracy of rome centuries earlier incidentally the arsenic containing cosmetics were reported to be responsible for deaths prominent homicidal poisons are arsenic aconite digitalis abrus precatorius and styracanus nux vomica let's study about suicidal poisoning suicidal poisoning is the intake of some poisonous substances by the individual himself for self killing ideal suicidal poison should be easily available should have no bad taste most possibly cause no pain or less pain it must be cheap highly toxic tasteless or pleasant taste capable of being taken with food or drink prominent suicidal poisons include opium barbiturates organophosphorus carbolic acid copper sulfate etc suicidal poisonings have been reported involving the consumption of rat pastes containing zinc phosphide suicidal poisoning with formic acid is a relatively common in those areas where the chemical is easily available suicidal deaths are reported from time to time since opiates are reputed to cause a painless death let's study about the accidental poisoning which generally takes place due to the storage of poisonous and non poisonous substances at the same place the injudicious use of magic remedies and love potions can also result in accidental poisoning noticeable accidental poisoning include aspirin organophosphorus copper sulfate snakes by ergot carbon monoxide carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfide etc let's study about the food poisoning which can occur in many ways and may be isolated incidences or may constitute an epidemic mass food poisoning food borne illness are among the commonest health problems encountered worldwide and are particularly rampant in third world countries such as india mainly due to a relative lack of sanitation and public hygiene while the biological causes of food poisonings are microbes parasites fungi plants animals the chemical cause cannot be ignored which are the chemical agents introduced during food processing chemical contaminants of food include heavy metals pesticides and food additives food additives may be antioxidants 
flavoring agents, coloring agents, sweetening agents, thickening agents or even preservatives. Heterogenic poisoning arises from the action of a doctor said of any adversative condition in a patient resulted from treatment by a physician or surgeon. For instance is death after injection of a wrong solution or of an appropriate solution in an inappropriate manner. For example, hasty injections of solution of magnesium salts, unbuffered solutions of high alkalinity or acidity or of a substance to which the patient is hypersensitive. Heterogenic poisonings caused by prescribing administration errors or unrecognized adverse drug interactions has recently been identified as a significant problem. Let's study about the synergistic poisoning. A synergistic effect occurs when the collective effects of two chemicals are much greater than the sum of the effects of each agent given alone. For example, both carbon tetrachloride and ethanol are heptotoxic compounds but together produce much more liver injury than the mathematical sum of their individual effects on a liver at a given dose would suggest. Barbiturates have a synergistic effect with the ethanol and antihistamines. Ethanol has a synergistic effect with benzodiazepines. Let's come to agrochemical poisoning. This poisoning due to other pesticides is relatively uncommon except among individuals who are occupationally exposed. The causes of poisonings are many such as civilian, industrial, accidental and deliberate. The problem is getting worse with the time as newer drugs and chemicals are developed in vast numbers. The commonest agents in India appear to be pesticides like organophosphates, carbamates, chlorinated hydrocarbons, pyrethroids and aluminium or zinc phosphide. Organophosphates which are very rapidly acting such as taboon, serine, somane and VX have been developed as nerve gases for chemical war warfare. Since several orgochlorine pesticides have been banned including DDT and BHC, the incidence of poisoning involving these compounds have been declining. However, cases are still reported owing to surreptitious use. Let's study about the drug poisoning. Drug in the broadcast sense is any chemical entity or mixture of entities other than those required for the maintenance of normal health, the administration of which alters the biological function and bodily structure. Drug abuse refers to the use usually by self-administration of any drug in a manner that deviates from the approved medical or social pattern within a given culture. The overdose of the drug commonly occurs accidentally. Intravenous injection carries the highest risk of accidental overdoses and when it occurs the drug cannot be retrieved. Let's study about the miscellaneous poisonings under which let's study first judicial poisoning. It is known as judicial execution by administration of lethal injections to a condemned convict. Lethal injection is the exercise of injecting a convict with a fatal dose of drugs which are characteristically a barbiturate, paralytic and potassium solution for the direct purpose of instigating instantaneous death. In another though extinct process the condemned or the prisoners persons were used to strapped to a chain in a closed room and several cyanide eggs are dropped into the pan of strong acid that leads to the liberation of cyanide gas. Unconsciousness takes place very rapidly through heart, 
continues to beat for 10 to 15 minutes, then death occurs. Sodium pentothal, penicrium bromide, potassium chloride, barbiturates and cyanides arza are the favorite chemicals used for the purpose of judicial execution. Abroficient poisoning. Abortion is the termination of pregnancy by eliminating a fetus or embryo from the womb before it can survive on its own and an abortifacient is a substance that induces abortion. There are certain abortifacient drugs which may terminate the pregnancy in various manners. For example, ecobolics act directly on the uterus and increase the uterine contraction that causes abortion. Amenogogias such as savine, borax, apiol produce an increased menstrual blood flow and act as a abortifacient when given in large doses. In irritants of genitourinary tract like oil of turpentine, canthrides reflex uterine contraction to ensue abortion. Other common examples include ergot, quinine, calotropis and plumbago. Let's study the stupefacient poisoning. The term stupefaction is loosely applied to the process of representing a victim suddenly deliberated by exposing him to a deliriant poisons such as datura, etc. in order to facilitate robbery or rape. An extract of the seeds is usually employed which is mixed with food or drink and administrated to the unsuspecting victim. Sometimes stupefaction is induced by exposing the person to the fumes of incense by mixing the tura with other constituent of an incense stick like agarbatti. Even cigarettes may be adulterated in a similar fashion. Susceptible railways or bus passengers are the usual victims who fall into the trap of accepting food, drink or tobacco from the so-called friendly strangers. Examples include the tura, cannabis and chloral hydrate. Cattle poisoning. Young calves can catch lead poisoning if they lick lead paint or batteries. A number of plants are lethal to cattle including view leaves and acorns. Cattles may suffer nitrate poisoning when they are high nitrate levels in meadow and crops, especially after dehydrated weather or where a lot of nitrogen fertilizer have been applied in winter or spring. Poisoning follows because nitrate accumulates at a faster than usual level in the rumen. Nitrate gets converted into nitrite in the rumen and is then absorbed into red blood cells, discoloring them and blocking the transport of oxygen. In extreme cases, the animal dies due to asphyxia. Let's summarize what we have studied. That acute pesticide poisoning is a serious global problem accounting for an estimated 3 million cases of severe poisoning worldwide each year with approximately 2,20,000 deaths. More than 90% of these cases are reported from developing countries such as India. In the UK, pesticides are responsible only for about only 1% of deaths from poisoning while various studies in India indicate that the figures ranging from 20% to a shocking 70%. Among the various pesticides, organophosphates and carbamates account for most of the reported cases of poisoning through aluminum phosphide is making relentless inroads, especially in North and Central India. Suicidal exposure to these pesticides is invariably via the oral route through a few cases have involved self-injection. Homicidal poisoning involves pesticides has always been rare owing to the disagreeable odor or taste which most of these chemicals possess. Significant exceptions include thallium, 
and arsenical compounds. Potassium permanganate is used as an abortifacient may result in vaginal or cervical burns and erosions with extensive bleeding, shock, severe scarring and miscarriage as possible complications. Antimony has been found to cause premature births and spontaneous abortions in women. Roots of oleander aconite are sometimes used as abortifacient. Quinine and quinidine are contradicted in pregnancy and can induce abortion due to oxytic action. Quinine crosses the placental barrier. Numerous man formations and fertile anomalies have been reported. When the supply of high quality drug is less, the drug peddler may dilute the drugs that are sold on the streets in order to experience the kick or rush. They tend to increase the dose which consequently raise the problem of contamination resulting the accidental death. Synergistic combinations of two or more agents can overcome toxicity and other side effects associated with high doses of single drugs by countering biological compensation allowing reduced doses of each compound or accessing con context specific multi-target mechanism. Thank you.